at Savannah State University. The sea of gold and blue has taken over Alexis Circle for Yard Fest, the parade, ooh, a fish fry. Sounds good to me. Our Maria, Mariah, sorry, Mariah, Mariah Congito is joins us now. Mariah, you are out there. Looks like having a blast. What's going on? Yeah, Becky and Sam, I think I'm actually having a little bit too much fun because I'm catching myself dancing along to the music. I'm sure you can hear it a little bit in the background there, but everyone's dancing. Everyone's enjoying that fish fry. And you know, every year homecoming is so special, but this one's even more special because it's their first full scale home homecoming in two years since the pandemic. So energy is high here and people are just looking forward to an entire weekend full of events. But since Sunday, Savannah State has had homecoming events all over campus today they had a parade that included their band their cheerleaders dancers and after the parade they stopped here in alexis circle for what they call yard fest and you guys it was so cool it brought everybody together the students alumni they danced around taking plenty of videos and there's also that fresh fry going on that has about a little less than an hour now wraps up at four which is a very popular part of homecoming. The lines were extremely long, but it doesn't stop there, you guys. Tonight, they have a Greek step show where the sororities and fraternities, they're gonna face each other in a dance competition. And I spoke to some alumni, one who's in the class of 1957, and one who hasn't missed a homecoming weekend since he graduated a few years ago. They tell me engaging with the current students is one of their favorite parts, as well as celebrating the university's accomplishments. My favorite part is really seeing the alumni come together with our students and having an opportunity to unify in that Tiger Pride, but also embrace the culture of Savannah State. It's also an opportunity to celebrate through various events, parties, philanthropic events. It's homecoming! The campus has grown immensely since I was here. It's unbelievable. We have a very strong alumni that helps to keep it sustained. And we just love it today. It has done so much for us. And events are going to continue for the next few hours. And of course, tomorrow they're going to start tailgating at 12. The kickoff is at 3 o'clock. And then really this homecoming weekend is going to get all wrapped up. After the game, there's going to be a concert for the students and then a worship service on Sunday. You guys, it's so much fun out here. I'm going to go grab some food before I head back to the station. So certainly look out for those Tigers tomorrow at 3. Live here at Savannah State, Mariah Congito, WTOC News. Thanks, Mariah. Wow, she is having so much fun, doesn't she? And watching the video, <laughs> I felt like I was there enjoying the day with yeah. them. The dancing, the mm. food, you could just kind of feel the excitement, right? Yeah, there's so much happening this weekend in the city, and I just love seeing the community come together. What a fun way to spend a Friday night and then oh, lead yeah. into tomorrow's festivities. So, yeah, Mariah did such a great job at covering that for us. I just feel bad for any Savannah State students who have homework they are trying to do this weekend. <laughs> mm -mm. Might, might be putting that one off till Sunday night. Yeah, well, hopefully the teachers will give them a little grace. <laughs> That's, uh, I like how you're thinking there, of course.